Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Command engine start. Two, one. Off at 3,700 feet above MSL. That's about how far we are above sea level out here in Launch Site 1. And that BE-3 engine rumble really coming through as the vehicle approaches the maximum dynamic pressure, the point where the aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle are at their maximum. That BE-3 engine will throttle back just a little bit. And there we have it, max Q. We're getting such a roar um, sitting here in, in West Texas right now. We can hear that BE-3 engine just roaring through the sky. That's right, really doing work to power the new Shepard propulsion module and capsule to space. Here in about 30 seconds, Kaya will see the BE-3 PM engine shut off for main engine cutoff, Miko. And Miko, main engine cutoff. The vehicle is now coasting at over 2,000 miles per hour. Okay, we should have separation of the capsule and the booster here momentarily. Laura Stiles will cue the astronauts to unbuckle their harnesses and start floating around the capsule. Victor Vescovo, Katja Chacerreta, Hamish Harding, Jason Robinson, Victor Correa España, and Evan Dick are now in zero G. Let's listen in. We just received confirmation the crew capsule's apogee of 351,183 feet. I don't see the booster.
One minute warning. One minute warning. Well, Kaya, it really sounded like they were having a lot of fun in that 15 cubic meter cabin. Congratulations to all six crew. They just officially became astronauts. Outstanding. Both the crew capsule and the booster are now descending, as you can see on your screen. And we'll follow the booster first for landing. That rocket is now reaching its atmospheric pierce point, returning from space and entering the atmospheres. The control surfaces of the fins are now starting to have air pressure to push against and to navigate to over the landing pad. And that booster is now reaching its maximum re-entry velocity, which is just under Mach 4. The booster shape causes a lot less drag than the crew capsule, so it'll win the race back down to the ground. And we've got a great shot there from the booster coming back from space to our landing pad. The wedge fins, steering fins, and ring fin really earning their keep at this point in the flight. And you can just see that the air brakes are deploying here. This is such a critical step in slowing the vehicle down. Velocity starts to decrease very rapidly. You can follow along on the top, top right corner of your screen. And we just heard the sonic booms. Loud and clear. And there's the BPM engine relit, confirmed, coming down for a nice soft landing. And booster touchdown, welcome back New Shepard, welcome back to our six astronauts. For a lot of us at Blue, this moment in flight is one of the main highlights as it shows off the incredible engineering required to bring a rocket back safely home from space, ready to be reused. No matter how many times you've seen this happen, a live booster landing onto the pad will always take your breath away. And I know that our six astronauts right now, they're sitting in their capsule enjoying the view as it slowly descends down. In the meantime, we've got quite a shot there of the booster and there's the capsule re-entering. And here are the drogues deploying now. These drogues will slow the capsule down in preparation for the three main chutes. And there we have it, the three main chutes. Wow, look at those huge windows. Maybe we can see our astronauts if we look closely. While those beautiful parachutes are essential in providing a gentle touchdown for the crew capsule, New Shepard also has an innovative retro thrust system on the bottom of the capsule to make the touchdown even smoother for our astronauts flying today. And as that capsule slowly descends, that retro th thrust system soon will fire moments before touchdown to slow the capsule down even further, just to one or two miles per hour. What a great shot there. Guadalupe Peak, the tallest mountain in Texas, behind, of course, our three parachutes and our six astronauts in their crew capsule. Now, Kaya, keep in mind that here in West Texas, uh, in the desert, uh, we kick up a tremendous amount of dust, uh, but it is a very, very soft landing.
and touchdown. Welcome back to Earth, New Shepherds, astronauts. They just went to space and they're back. That's right. Welcome back, the crew of Natural Selection.